What's up guys? It's the Cheapster here back with another video on our house fixer. So we got an update today as you guys have seen in the title. We're having a little bit of an issue with our fixer upper. Actually pretty much everything else has been going okay. Like we've kind of fixed a lot of the stuff that was broken where it was like we couldn't really live in it very well right now. So there wasn't that much going on. We felt like we were finally like you know this is starting to go well. This is starting to be okay and we were starting to get work on stuff. And we've seen bugs. Uh, I think actually in the last one, there was a big spider. We've seen bugs throughout the whole time we've been here. We knew that there was like kind of a cockroach problem, but it wasn't too bad until we just started demo on the back house actually. Demo day. Um, actually, that'll be my next video. I'll be talking about the demolition because we had more stuff come up that I got to talk about now before we get to that video. And that is that we found a cockroach nest in the walls of the back house back there so it's going to be a fun time dealing with that and we thought that you know it looked like it was just an old cockroach nest so we didn't think we were going to have much of a problem with it we thought oh that's pr they're pretty much all dead and this is just kind of like old stuff that's been here because there was some termite damage too that was there and we don't have termites we haven't seen any termites there was a termite inspection i didn't see that so we kind of figured this was old stuff and that house was built in the 40s so i'm thinking you know this could be any time long long time ago that there's been like a big cockroach problem here and yeah, I think we might have been wrong because after we unearthed all that stuff, we didn't clean up super well. We cleaned up some of the stuff to just get some of the wood out because we were starting to demo it and everything. And I think we kind of unearthed the cockroaches then because now we started to see them so bad. Uh, it could also just be that time of the year too that maybe they're just finally starting to, um, I guess, come out of their eggs or whatever. I've learned way too much about cockroaches lately. So that's been disgusting. But yeah, let me show you guys some clips of what I took out in the back house because it's about to start storming. So I was gonna go out there, but it's like really gonna start storming bad because we're getting like hurricane uh, weather that's actually coming this way. So I'm not gonna go out there right now. So the stuff we got going on back there is the full life cycle of the cockroach. I thought that was, I thought that was a bug right there right as I was talking. That's just a nail. Oh, it scared me. We got the full life cycle of the cockroach going on back there. We've got the egg of the cockroach. You can see that. These look really weird. They look like jelly beans. We had no idea what they were. That's what those are in case you uh, see those. Those are cockroach eggs. So you don't want to just be like, oh, just whatever, whatever. That means that there's a nest somewhere and there are cockroaches about to be born. And I think each one of those has a ton of cockroaches in just one of those eggs. We found tons of those back there. Uh, so that's disgusting, but we've got those, we've got the little baby ones that come out of those and that's what we've started to have more of an issue with in our house, our like main house that we're living in. We've got some middle sized ones, we got some giant ones. We're basically, you know, a cockroach museum here uh, at this house. So. <laughs> and we've known, we've had some of these bigger cockroaches for a while, ever since we moved in. When we first came to see the house, there were some dead ones around and that's just kind of a thing around here. It's very common to have roaches. We also have a commercial area right next to us that has a ton of cockroaches uh, that swarm around it at night. And that's just like a block from us. So I think they kind of come back over this way from their like restaurants and stuff right there that they're getting food from. So it's really hard to deal with that because if they're getting the food over there, it's not much we can do to stop them other than just kind of kill them, but they're just gonna keep coming back here. But we thought the problem was more just, you know, in that back house back there. Uh, we didn't think we were gonna have more of an issue, but I'll take you guys to what we've been having a problem with now. So if you remember the layout of this house is kind of goofy. We got like this weird room. There's a ton of games right there, which probably is not good. That probably needs to be dealt with because probably a good place for cockroaches to be. But we got this in here. This is like that weird old kitchen that's been here. Uh, this is actually our guest room right there. We've got a bed there. This is where we've been starting to have problems. So I started to notice that there were little tiny cockroaches that I didn't know what they were at first, but yeah, they're little, little tiny, like that small. They are so small, you can barely see them. And they were all showing up just around this area here. Um, and I realized what's going on is this is an opening to pretty much nothing. Uh, and there you go, there's some uh, cockroach poison there. But what I found was back there, that is just open to the outside of the house. So what I think is happening, because we see cockroaches at night, I think they're getting in under our siding and there's a lot of them like on the front porch where they come from that commercial area. And I think that if that they're in that siding there, they can get right into that gap. I need to deal with that. I need to fill that gap and try to stop them from being able to get in here. Cause this is the one area we've been finding the baby ones. We haven't really been finding those many other places. It's not common that we'd find those anywhere else, but just 
up here in this room specifically. Sorry to any of our guests, we gotta deal with this before we have more guests because you're gonna be living in a cockroach infested room if we don't. But yeah, that's been what's going on in the house and it has been a pain to deal with this stuff. Now, luckily my office, that is the guest room right there. And this is my office right here. You might start to recognize, there you go. That's my office. It hasn't been getting any kind of uh, small cockroaches. I haven't seen anything like that in here. So I think it's really just kind of confined to that area. But one fun thing that I saw was, I've actually got this taped up now, but this hole right here, there's like a piece of fluff. It kind of looks like it's a spider, but that's just a hole. Um, is that actually a cockroach? I think that's a dead cockroach right there. I taped this over, you can't see very well, but it's taped. This hole, I saw a cockroach run down the wall and go into that hole. And I was like, oh, are you kidding? This is like a cliche, like movie scene where you see the cockroaches like going in and out of the walls and stuff. And it was like a full size cockroach. And then the worst part is it came out all the way across my room somewhere else that I don't even know how it got there. So there's obviously stuff under this floor where they're just scooting through. <laughs> so eh, that's stuff that I can't deal with completely. Um, I think we're gonna have to get an exterminator to deal with some of that. We're trying to do our best ourselves with putting out the poison. I think I need to go get one of those cockroach hotels to try to kill as many as we can just to get more of them killed. But it worries me because we have a dog. Obviously we got Tyson. Um, and I, he messes with the cockroaches. If he finds them, he tries to eat them. So using poison and stuff, cause they're like actually poisoned. We see them when they're dying, they're like funky. Like they, they've got issues going on. So I don't know if him eating them would cause a problem. I don't know, that worries me. So I'm not exactly sure what to do. I think we're just gonna have to go pay for an exterminator. Obviously as a cheapster, I don't wanna do that. I'm trying to do it as cheap as possible, but I also don't know if that really will truly help because of the fact that there's a commercial restaurant place right next to us with a bunch of restaurants and stuff. So I think they're just coming from there. So I don't know if exterminating here even does that much because they are the ones who needs to exterminate because they've got all the cockroaches. So that's what's been going on. It has been a pain dealing with this stuff. Um, luckily it could be worse. Like it could be a lot worse where they're actually just like in our stuff all the time and i really don't feel like it's been as bad because they've kind of just been in that guest room and then in the back house which don't really bother us that much but yeah i think we're probably going to end up having to hire an exterminator i think i'm going to try a little bit more with some poison and stuff and uh, with some cockroach motels and stuff like that see if we can take care of it more i think we may just have to do that stuff anyway even if we do hire an exterminator also one of the things i found out is that these are called mountain roaches they're smoky brown cockroaches i've learned way too much about these so if you guys have these these are fast. These are smart, fast cockroaches. They drive me nuts. Like trying to kill one, you have to like think three steps ahead before you go in to kill these things because they are so fast and so smart at running away from you. It is so annoying. But that's really what we got on the update for the house. Uh, we have more bug problems too that aren't super bad, but I mean stuff like there's wasps in areas like in our gutters. I need to clean out our gutters and there's wasps in them. So I have to deal with the wasps before I can clean the gutters out. And speaking of the gutters, they're filled with ants because they're packed with stuff that has just not been cleaned out for years. Because we have carpenter ants outside that I don't know if we need to deal with those or what. We also have tons of mosquitoes. I think that's just been a thing for Greenville this year though, where there's just been such bad mosquitoes. As soon as it's like twilight, you were gonna get bit up by mosquitoes. And we just cleaned out our garage the other day because it still had stuff in it from when we bought it. And that was filled with house spiders, like filled. There was like nests with tons of eggs. Uh, we took care of most of those, but I'm also kind of like, am I throwing off the ecosystem of everything? I kill the spiders, what do they eat? And then the things that they eat, what do they eat? And it's like, oh my goodness, there's so much stuff. I also started an all out like literal ant war in the yard because I blew out a bunch of the ants that were in the gutter into the yard and they fought with the ants that were in the yard. We could tell because the ant hills were actually shifting and like moving to different areas of the yard. So I think the ants I blew out one, it's crazy. Like we are, we are fighting an all out bug battle at this house. Mostly the cockroaches are the biggest concern, but there are so many bugs. So the one thing that's for sure for us is when we get done uh, working on this house, we are gonna make sure that this house is sealed up on the outside very well to keep the bugs out. We're gonna make sure that we do everything we can to seal this house up 
like a button so that there are no bugs to be able to get in when we go to sell this because it is obviously a problem here with how many bugs there are. I did also want to say that when we've been finding the roaches, they're usually dead, which is a good sign that our poison is working. It's good to find them dead. That means we're killing them, but we're still finding them, so that's a problem. But for anyone looking for stuff, this is what we've been using to kill them. Uh, so apparently it's been working. I noticed this the other day, this says small roaches and we don't just have small roaches. So I need to get something for the big roaches too. I didn't realize that that was only small roaches, but it does take this stuff back to the nest and it poisons the entire nest. So that's why the big roaches have been dying too, but yeah, they need more, more defense systems to kill them. <laughs> that's pretty much it. Sorry, it hasn't been much about the actual house because we've just been fighting a battle with bugs and cleaning stuff lately. But the next video, we'll be doing a lot of demo. We've actually started tearing out the back house and I'll show you guys all that in the next video. And we will probably have the entire back house almost all tore out in the next video. Hopefully that's what our plan would be. And then from there, we can start actually doing some more fun stuff that's not just tearing out and uh, finding bugs. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys liked the video, make sure to do the cheapest thing you can today. Tap that like button. Also subscribe to the channel to keep up with this crazy house fixer upper that just seems like there's always more problems that are popping up. Hopefully it starts to get a little bit better and look like we can actually show you guys like what we're doing to make this house look nice because lately I feel like it's just been a mess. But hey, that's the nature of fixer uppers. But I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, stay cheap. I just found out we have a centipede problem in the back house too. <laughs>